Peace to the people. Beautiful day it is. I got a message for y'all today. Well, I mean, for myself too. If you're feeling sad and blue, someone has a an automated response. Uh, oh, well, feel better. You've got so much to live for. You've got so much to be grateful for. You know, positive vibes only. Some type of stupid automated response that they didn't even give a lot of thought to that wasn't worth saying to you. Because during those times of need, someone giving you some gibberish that they could have recited to anyone on any given 1 800 uh, self deletion hotline is just, you know, it's garbage. I'm here to tell you that if you're feeling down, you're feeling sad and blue, I feel sad with you today. I don't have any motivational rhetoric or some type of, uh, you know, speech to give you to power you up because. You're human. You're human, like I am. What does that mean? It means that we're subject to error. We're subject to emotions and feelings. We're subject to feeling like we don't belong here with other humans. We're subject to a lot of things. And in you know those subjugations, we're imperfect. Duh. We're subject to error, right? Whatever. But we aren't objects. Right, which means like subjectively, we're we're moving, we're constantly changing, we're constantly evolving, we're constantly on the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. And I'm, I, let me get straight to what I'm really saying here, even though I'm really saying what I'm saying. You felt like you had no way out today, and someone was going to tell you, "Oh, you're better than that." I'm telling you, you're not better than that. That the people around you are just garbage. They are the ones who aren't better. And they pushed you into a corner of feeling like you didn't have any other way out except for to just take yourself. And you're okay for thinking like that, man. But the true resolve for that is not some automated response. The true resolve is for you to think it through entirely. Most people, when they reach that point, they haven't given it a lot of thought. And then they, you know, overreact impulsively and then, duh, pow. That's how you get to that place. Overreaction and not having enough peace of mind to you know, think it through and to get back into a state of uh, tranquility or level-headedness. Because you blow your own head off. I mean, your head wasn't level. And it's just, it sucks that we allow, and we, we don't do this, duh, intentionally. It doesn't make you weak. But we allow people, because we're so emotionally invested, we allow people to push us to those limits. It, it really sucks that um, people, uh, you know, get the best of us like that, you know, in, in challenges like that. And so I'm just here to tell you that you're not wrong thinking that way, that you, you don't have any escape, any exit. You're not wrong at all. And I'm just, I want to encourage you to just think it through. Because most of the time, if you give it enough thought, you'll think your way out of it. Because it's not, it's not a, to delete yourself is not a complete thought. You understand? It's not a complete thought. That's why most people who even think it through, they have to psych themselves up in like a negative state. They have to uh, draw in on all of the negative energies that they can. They have to tap in to a market that is not human in order to, to follow through with that entirely. And it takes a lot of concentration, man. I, I tried it when I was a child and I couldn't move through with it. My human instinct moved me to live. And so I'm saying all that to say that, I, you know, I'm sad today. And I have my shades on to cover that and mask that. Even though on like sunny days, like this, not to say that I, I'm not a vampire. I'm not one of those people that hate the sun. Like there are a lot of people out there that hate the sun. I love the sunlight, man. I, I love just brightness and being and illuminated and you know getting the uh, vitamin D generated from the rays of the sun. It's not a, it doesn't come to us automatically. It's just skin has to receive it. I'm no scientist though, so I ain't even gonna say that I'm right with that statement. But yeah, if you're feeling down and blue, man, look. Just be in that state for that moment, but reflect on what it is that has you feeling like that. And I promise you won't, like, whatever you discover, it won't be you at fault. And if you are at fault, I mean, because we, we can be the ones that trigger our sadness, find a way to correct that, whatever is going wrong with yourself. But most of the times, we find ourselves triggered and cornered by others, and those people aren't worth that trouble. So it's a, if it's a friend, a significant other, a family member, if you're dependent on them financially or emotionally, um, in any kind of way, start working on yourself so that you won't have to be. 
work on yourself and start distancing yourself from them. Work on yourself so that you can be independent and happy with yourself so that when it is time to detach from those toxic investments, it's toxic if you're relying upon who else. You need to be relying upon God and that only. And then people are just accessories to that. The Almighty is the Almighty for a reason. That's the oneness. That's central force. And then everything else trickles down. But we oftentimes put these human beings, these simple creatures, above God or above even ourselves. And then we wind up beneath them, below them, and then in the ground. So focus all of your energy inward so that then you can uh, excrete nothing but greatness. And then you can be a powerful force. And that you won't have to be beneath other people. You won't have to be wanting to eliminate yourself as if you're the problem. Because even if you are the problem, like I stated earlier, you can work on yourself and then fix your problem. But if they're the problem, then working on yourself will be the result for that as well. That's what, that's what I'm doing even myself. I, I changed my diet. I changed, uh, my, started exercising. I don't drink. I don't do drugs anymore. And even now, I'm so glad that in a sad state, I don't have anything um, at my disposal that I could uh, delete myself with accidentally you know, overdosing on drugs or whatever, driving drunk, driving fast, being overly angry, being uh, emotionally outraged, enraged. A lot of people wipe themselves out accidentally, man. And it just sucks. It really sucks for all of us. It doesn't have to be like this. All people have to do is communicate better and be receptive, especially to constructive criticism. But most of us don't, we just don't know how to take being told that what we're doing, what we're saying, and how we're behaving is unacceptable. Before that, we throw someone else under the bus. And then that, that's where we get to these points of sadness. Somebody, they'll say, hey, I don't appreciate you putting a coffee mug here over and over. I, got, I clean up here a lot. And you do the same here. Could you fix that? And they say, but you put the tea mug over there all the time. I mean, what difference will it make? And you're like, well, the difference is I clean up after the tea mug each time, but it's not about me. I'm telling you what you're doing is offensive. And then, but they'll deflect and then they'll make you the problem. And do you see, if you don't have the mental capacity to overcome that manipulation where that type of uh, discussion can go, turn into an argument, turn into a fight, turn into a dispute, turn into chaos. And all for what? So yeah, love yourself, man. Smile, give yourself a high five in the mirror. And be blessed. Peace to you all. Thanks for watching.